Hello, Russian language friends. I'm going to talk about um, the, the first most important uh, element in Russian language. It's the noun, the Russian noun. And um, so let's get on it. So unlike English nouns, all nouns in Russian, meaning objects and living things, are have gender are either masculine, feminine, or neuter. English does not care about gender, really. Grammatical gender, that is. So, for example, in, um, in Russian, you have masculine, feminine, neuter. So, for example, a uh, masculine noun could be husband, mush, could be table, stall. Rug, kavior, kaziol, male goat, why not? Karol, king, gvozd, mushchina. Uh, feminine nouns could include zhenshina, woman, naturally, you know, feminine, you say. Kasa, check out, not, doesn't make any sense. Why you would check out in a store, has to be feminine. Karta, also it's a mystery why it would be have to be feminine. Dunya, melon, dvir, mush. Why these are feminine in Russian? It's a mystery. But other languages have genders, so that's not so unusual if you think about it. Uh, and then you have neuter nouns like ribro, rib, akno, window. Vidro, bucket, more, si, rujo, gun. Again, there is no reason, rhyme or reason why these should be neuter and others are not. Um, and what is to notice here is that feminine nouns usually end in a, mushchenshchina, kasa, kukla, but sometimes they end in a soft sign, uh, the thing that looks like a half B. And neuter nouns usually end in o, but it can also end in ye, like morie, or yo, the e with the two dots, or ya, like imya and vremya. For masculine, masculine nouns usually end in consonants, like j, l, r, kaziol, l, but they can also end in a, like mushchina, and or the soft sign, like gvozd. There are not a lot of m masculine uh, nouns that end uh, in, in soft sign, but there are some, and it can be confusing because most of them end, uh, most feminine ones also end in soft sign. So it's, it's hard to tell sometimes which one is feminine and which one is masculine. Uh, now we talk about declension. Declension is basically how the ending changes according to the situations. And in Russian, the ending can change at least eight times for any word. So this is way different from English, where the, the ending of a word, of a noun, doesn't change much, but only twice. So for example, um, here I use the word table, stall, to show you how it changes, how it can change. So, for example, if you want to say, I have a table, you say, u minya yes stol. Stol just has no ending, just a consonant ending, L. Yakupil stol. Again, no change, same ending as in the first present. But then if you want to say, there is no table here, we use genitive, and you say, zdes net stala. Then you have an ending in a. Then if you want to say there are many tables here, you say Zdias Noga Stalov. So yeah, that's another ending. If you want to say don't climb on tables, you have to say Nelaz Pastalam. If you want to say to the table, you say Kstalu. If you want to say to sit at the table, you say Sidiz Zastalom. If you want to say cat is on the table, you say Koshka Nastalie. And finally, forks on the table is Vilki Nastalach. So depending on the situation, stall gets all kinds of endings, like ah, uh, like of, like um, u, om, ye, lach. So basically, if you want to speak proper, you know, grammatical Russian, you have to uh, learn uh, these endings. 
Uh, as I was saying, English has only two forms. Like if you take table, you can make all kinds of sentences with table in English with only one f two forms. Table and tables. Way easier. So um, there are three types to make things easier for you to learn these all these endings. Um, the scholars have grouped endings into three types. There is the first declension, that uh, the first pattern that applies to masculine and neuter nouns ending in R consonants. Then there is the second declension that applies to feminine nouns ending in a uh, and ya. Yeah. And then there's a third declension that it's used mostly for endings ending in soft sign, which are the feminines, but also for those that end in um, mia, ya, ye. Um, so, how can you learn all this? My opinion, the easiest way is to memorize the table all the declensions and I will I will present that in another video. Then once you memorize that really well, you have to practice them by yourself continuously. You know, at least every other day with a notebook and just test yourself um, you know, but by saying that, okay, what is the nominative or the genitive ending for table. Then you have to practice with somebody with a tutor, for example. Like that way you get individual help. And this is where I can come in. Um, and I received excellent education from Yale University. Um, I've had many clients that and I and so I have reasonable rates. I'm flexible. We can do this online. If you're in my town, we can meet one-on-one, -on -one. Um, and I customize the lessons for your needs, you know, whatever challenges you have or whatever language you come from. So if you want to contact me for my services as a tutor, this is my email, emil, E-M-I-L dot N-I-C-U-L-E-S-U, -E 1972 at Gmail. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.